Howdy y'all, welcome on back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It has been a minute. I have just gotten back from the woods filming with Guggen Squad for a week. Fishing was good. So I'm just unpacking a bunch of my gear right now. We made some Krispies. We went into the woods. We did some MTB videos. We had some peanut oil. I had my sandals on. If y'all remember last year at this time, I went to a lake called Broken Bow and it's up in Oklahoma and I really liked it. And I, I said I was gonna go back this year. Well, we thought it'd be cool to go back there as a group and film a bunch, bunch of videos and the lake was beautiful. So stay tuned over there at the Guggen Squad channel. It's gonna be some good stuff. And we did our first like dedicated crappie fishing video. I mean, it might be the second. The first one was kinda, we were using some weird methods, but this was like us going out to a new lake, looking for crappie. We ended up with a bunch of crappie. And I gotta clean those later. I'm gonna show you guys the stringer that we ended up with, pretty impressive. But first, we've got an issue with the truck. And this is what I wanted to show you guys, get you updated on, because this is a brand new engine that I have. This is my adventure wagon. This is, you know, the vehicle that I've chosen to go on all my adventures with. And just the other day, I was coming back and I noticed the check engine light was on and I took it in and it was, it was doing some weird stuff. There's something to do with the emissions where it'll regenerate um, the emissions, like burn them off. This is a diesel engine and it has something to do with, you know, I don't know, federal regulations. You gotta like burn this stuff off now. It's really dumb. It's not, it's not really good for the engine, honestly. This is a brand new engine from GM and there's some bugs with it, I guess. So I've had a couple of recalls and this one is like, actually concerning because uh, I don't want to be just stuck in the woods somewhere. So I'm going to take the adventure wagon in today. We're going to see what's actually going on with it, but the check engine light is on. Okay, my little darlings. Oh my gosh. Y'all are just ready. Quick little check and check here. Getting some chickweed. A lot of the springtime chickweed starting to die off. There you go. They're just gonna attack. The flock is starting to grow up, y'all. They're starting to get along a little bit better. The pecking order is starting to be established. And, uh, you know, after being gone for like five, six days, I mean, they just look like they grow so much by the day. It's, it's crazy. They're actually letting the, uh, letting the chicks, or no, they're no longer chicks, they're letting the other chickens, like, at least hang around the little feed area this is where I throw like a lot of vegetables and stuff normally they just run them off like constantly so I've heard as long as they're pretty small they're gonna get picked on but as they get bigger uh, they just kind of learn you know that they're chickens just like me and they don't pick them on pick on them as much anyway it looks like they're getting along and old uh, Ebenezer the duck over here he's he's pretty much just huge he's full grown just waiting on him to molt and and see if it's actually a boy or a girl I don't know call him he or she depending on the day. So, that's the quick chicken update. The chicken chick, the chicken check. The flock is looking good. Now let me go start up my truck, show you guys what's going on. Okay, let's get on up in here. Show you guys, okay, I'm gonna start it up. Okay, that check engine light right there, it's not blinking, which would be, you know, DEF CON 4 better get it to the dealership immediately but it is just a sign that something's going on with the engine I've noticed the fans are really uh, they're going like overdrive and when I've been in idle a few times you'll see the RPMs just kind of sputtering just from what I've looked at online the emissions don't burn off in idle like you pretty much have to be going and the one day that I, I did have to take it in to the dealership it was saying I don't stop driving, continue driving. And that means that the, the engine, the, the whole emission system, that's like going through a cycle, uh, a regen, and you need to keep driving to, to burn that off. It's only done that once, but when I took it in, the something with a GM, like main computer system that analyzes everything was down, and the check engine like went off while I was at the dealership, so I was able to keep driving it, but it was still throwing out uh, codes that were not good. So I figured it might come on again 
and it has. I've been driving about 10 minutes. I'm going to pull over so you guys can hear something that's going on with the engine. This was like the first sign that I got. Okay. So it's like 70 degrees outside. The engine's not under any kind of load. I'm not towing. And the fans, if you can hear that. Of course you can hear that. It's loud. The fans are running at full speed. Normally, this truck is really, really quiet when it's an idle. And especially when you start up, you know, the engine is, is just cold. There's really no, it is raining. What the heck is going on? That is so strange. It's raining here on like a sunny day, I don't know. Anyway, something is either telling the computers, you know, hey, the engine's hot, we gotta cool it down, or it's sending a signal. It just ain't right, I can tell you that. We're gonna take it in and see if, any, if we can find out, but I wanna know from y'all, if, do any of y'all know about this new engine, uh, these issues, do any of y'all have this new diesel engine, uh, any of y'all with Chevy diesels of any other kind, like the 6.6, is this, is this common? I just want to know, because I do not want to be stranded out there somewhere and be having to deal with this. Chevy trucks, the amount of different ones that you can get like packages is insane. Like all these trucks right here, six inch lift, 35s, 37s, I don't even know. You got the SCA Performance Tuscany Edition. You know, you got your American Luxury Co Coach Z92 Edition. You know, there's another Tuscany. You got your Share Rod Edition with the built in bumpers all custom out bds suspension edition bad lander edition you know there's another z92 you just got a you know i don't know the beefcake edition just kind of blanked out another well uh, i don't know sca performance edition oh no that's a black widow black widow i don't know i'm not really fond of that name for a truck if you got a you got a daggum i don't even know what this is another beefcake edition uh, a lips edition with the bumpers um you've got a black ops edition a, a black ops they got a ducks unlimited edition i mean there's so many editions well we're here at the dealership we're gonna get her examined. Uh, hopefully this is not like a multiple day process. I am ready to get back to where I just was, man. This new lake that we found, man, it's loaded with crappie and I think it's got some really good bass. Uh, we started just, you know, picking up like a jig and bandito bug there at the end of the day after crappie fishing and, and picked up on a couple really nice fish. I wanna go back there. I wanna do some camping. I wanna spend some time. I wanna catch the crud out of some crappie. Uh, I think it'd be a really good opportunity for me to learn. I wanna get back after it, y'all, but I definitely don't wanna <laughs> take my take my truck if it's not, not ready to go. As bad as my gas mileage was in my Toyota, daggum, never had any issues, but I will give it to Chevy. This is a brand new engine. There's always gonna be kinks. And maybe that's why these aren't as popular. When I first got the truck, I was like, oh my gosh, this thing, the gas mileage is amazing. Like the torque is really good for this size truck. Like this seems like the perfect boat hauling system. But you know, if it's got issues, maybe I'm just late to the party. Speaking of the gal, there she is. We really want to get a golf cart and there is a golf cart place like right down the street and i think we ought to go look at a few new rips so while we were looking at golf carts the dealership called and they said the truck is ready it was a software issue a software upgrade Judge, check engine light just turned off okay it's going through its warm up and boom we are good. I don't hear the fans. That's just so trippy, y'all. I'm glad that that was the only issue. It really had me worried. 
So that is the second time that I've had to get the software updated and recall. Actually, this is the second software update and I've also had a recall that was fixed on my first oil change that popped up. It's not like a Tesla where you can just download and, or your smartphone and then you're good to go, you're fixed. All I know is I am stoked about that because I can get back to the dangle. I hear the fans cutting back on. I mean, it's 73 degrees outside. I'm going slow. Like, the engine's not underloaded. Never used to do this. And they're cutting back on. Full-blown high speed. Like, what is going on? I am not convinced that this truck is fixed. So it's time to get to cleaning these crappie. I just moved my truck over here so I could drop the tailgate, do a little cleaning. Again, I love the setup right here. You know, push back the boat in, tailgate, clean the fish up. Got the fryer over there, but guess what? A little suspicion, a little hunch. Correct mundo. Fans kicked on when I started the truck. What is that right there? What does that look like? That is a dadgum check engine light. This sucker ain't fixed. So anyway, I'm gonna show you all this amazing stringer, but I'm just, I don't know what to do. This, this truck is giving me problems. Well, at least the tailgate works, so I can clean these fish. Let me show you this stringer, literally a stringer, I still got them all crappie right here y'all there are just some absolute butter balls in there I actually measured measured some 14 inches and I think there's one that's 15 or 16 that might be it right there some big black crappie there's a mix there's a few whites in there just some absolute units so those are going to be delicious I'm just reminded of the superiority in their meat. When a fish's meat is almost translucent, you can see through it with some light, that's when you know that it's just gonna be some delicious, flaky fish meat. About 30 minutes on the knife, and we've got ourselves a full bucket. This last one I laid, I think was the biggest one. Look at that juicy cutlet right there. So I had 15 crappie. So we got 30 fillets right here. The crazy part is, this wasn't even close to an Oklahoma limit. Y'all know how many crappie is an Oklahoma limit? Okies, speak up, let them know. 37, 37 crappies. That's most lakes in Oklahoma. There's a few different ones that might have a little different. That's why I say always check which lake you're going to because some lakes are managed in specific, you know, they're trying to do a trophy operation or something like that. But between two of us fishing on this day that we went out, you could keep 74. I think that's right. Yeah, 74? What do you think, Emmy? I got Aggie math, so I don't really know. Emmy, I got fish goo all over me. Otherwise, I would pick you up. I know, baby, I know. And then we'll put the rest in some freezer bags, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you guys one last thing with the fish right here. You see these little, these little scraps in my hand? These are the dorsal uh, spine and ray muscle segments. They, they're pretty stringy. You know, this is a piece that I always, like I get it when I'm doing a final rinse on the fish or something like that. Uh, sometimes I'll just cut it off. Uh, but the chickens really like it. No, it almost looks like a worm. So you can see those little muscles in there. That's what controls their, their dorsal spines and rays. And uh, Henny Penny, she's kind of like a dog. She'll just come over here. So Henny Penny. Come here, Henny Penny. 
There she comes. Okay, girl. Give you a special treat. There you go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the other one. Now the other one knows. That's Peggy. Here you go, Peggy. Oh, Penny's gonna get it. Oh, Peggy got it. Peggy got it. So this way, I'm not wasting anything, you know. Uh, there's a lot of protein in fish. Uh, these were post spawn, so only one of them had a little bit of row, not much. And if uh, if they have row in there, I'll I'll give that to them. That's like just protein filled little scrumptious snack, and they love it. But uh, from now on, I'm just gonna start keeping these in a little separate separate deal, and just give them to them. They're really good treats for the chickens. So so if y'all fish a bunch and have chickens, save your little. That's for all species, you know. The muscles right there in the in the spine that always kind of slide off the fillet. Chickens devour them. Okay. Fish are clean. Get ready for family fish fry coming up tomorrow. And I am about to roll out and uh, go have dinner with the squad tonight. I can't take my truck. I got to take OSG's family vehicle. I already talked to the dealership. I'm going to have to bring it back in on Monday, y'all. This is going to interrupt my fishing. This has been like the worst spring for fishing since I can remember. Between the flooding and the coronavirus upsets and <laughs> now my truck issues but I did just spend three or four days out in the woods uh, with the squad so make sure to go over to the Guggen Squad channel subscribe we got a lot of good fishing videos right now for this spring we have uh, luckily just gone out on like good times I will leave that channel link down below make sure you go subscribe over there I'll also leave a link for GuggenSquad.com because we've also launched uh, a lot of new gear, including uh, one of the hats that I'm wearing right now. Um, but I just got like four or five new hats in. They're sick. Just some really cool, different looking stuff uh, than what we've had before. And it just looks good. You guys, go get you hooked up with a headpiece. And I'm not talking to the danglers right now, but if I see one more person in the great outdoors just wearing a mask, nobody around, you know, just beautiful trees, grass, filtering the air into your lungs. I'm going to lose my mind. Anyways, I'm over it. Let's get back to normal, y'all. God bless you. I will see you soon.